In this video, I will show you how to design an Excel template like this for tracking our income, expense and savings. First of all, let me show you how this template works and after that we will get into the design process. There are two worksheets in this workbook. One is dashboard, other one is records. Let me select the worksheet called records. This is my income statement for the year 2024. Here we have the details from January 2024 to June 2024. And the summary of this table is displayed in the next worksheet dashboard. We have five tables here. First one is income. This table has the total amount received in each month. Right now this table is displaying the records up to June because we have the records up to June. Second table has the monthly expenses. Next table is savings. And this table is about how much I could save each month. Below the tables, we have the average monthly income, average monthly expense, and average monthly savings. When we move to the right side, we have two more tables which talk about the item-wise breakdown of income and expenses. How much money came in the form of salary, share trading, freelancing, and how much I spend for rent, dining out, insurance, transportation, etc. Then on the top of the dashboard, we have YTD income, YTD expense, and YTD savings. Right now we have the details up to June. So let's add a few records for the month of July. Let's check the worksheet dashboard. See all these tables have been updated accordingly. Income in July, expense in July, and savings in July. So that's how this template works. Now about the design of this template. See we have a brand new Excel workbook with a single worksheet. Let's start with the title of the statement. Click on the cell B2. Type in income and expense. Enter. Two cells below in the cell B4. Type in date, press the tab key for the next column, type in month, amount, item, category, remarks. For converting this data into an excel table, select the cells containing data, insert, table, say dialog called create table is activated. My table has headers. OK. The selected data is converted into an Excel table. To rename this table, go to the Table Design tab, Table Name. I will name this table as Records. Press Enter. To hide the filter buttons, unmark the checkbox for Filter button. We will be using this table for adding income and expense details. Before that, let me adjust the column widths. Now about adding data into this table. Suppose you got salary on 1st of January 2024. To add that information into this table, select the cell in the column called date, 1st of January 2024. Tab. In the column called month, we need the name of the month corresponding to this date. For that, equal, text function, open parentheses, select the cell containing date, comma, double quotes, type in M four times, double quotes, close parentheses, tab. See we have the name of the month corresponding to this date. Next is amount, type in the salary, 4000 separator, right click, format cells, number, use 1000 separator, we don't need decimal places, ok. Next two columns are meant to display the nature of the transaction. The column called item will display the name of the transaction and category will tell us whether that amount was income or expense. For making these entries easier, 
we will create one more table. Select a cell in the column called J, item, category. Now in the column called item, type in the different income sources. Salary, share trading, freelancing. If you have more income sources, add those two. Now in the column called category, type in income against these items. Now the list of expenses, rent, dining out, insurance, transportation, entertainment, shopping. Type in expense against these items. To convert this data into an excel table, select the cells containing data, press ctrl T, create table, my table has headers, ok. The selected data has become an official excel table. We will remove the filter button, we will rename this table as category. Now to change the table style, in the table design tab, table styles, I will go for this orange one. Using these items, we will make a drop down list in the column for item in the first table. So for creating a drop down list, select the cell in the column for item, go to the data tab, data validation, validation criteria, list, click inside this input box, select the cells containing items in the second table. OK. A drop down list has been created in the selected cell. And this menu has every item listed in the table on the right side. We will select salary. Next is category. When we select an item from the drop down list in this column, the corresponding category should automatically appear in the column for category. For that, equal VLOOKUP, open parentheses. First argument of VLOOKUP function is lookup value. In this case, item is the lookup value. Select the cell containing item, comma. Second argument, table array. The table containing items and corresponding category is the table array. Select the cells containing data in the second table, comma. Third argument, column index number. We need the category corresponding to the selected item. Category is in the second column of the table. So column index is 2. Type in 2, comma. Fourth argument range lookup. Select false for exact match. Close parenthesis, enter. And we have the category corresponding to the selected item. If there is any additional information regarding the transaction, it can be added in this column called remarks. Let's add the second record. We'll start with date. Tab. See name of the month is automatically generated. Tab. Next is amount. 300. This amount was spent for a local trip around the city. In the column called item, I will add transportation. See when I selected transportation, corresponding category automatically appeared in the next column, expense. Tab, once again tab, next record, 1400. This amount was spent towards a medical urgency. But our drop down list for items doesn't have an item of this nature. So let's see how to add a new item to this drop down list. Escape. Click on the adjacent cell below this table. Type in the new item. Medical. Now the corresponding category. Expense. Enter. Let's select the drop down list for item. See the drop down list has been updated with a new item. Medical. Let's select medical and the corresponding category appeared in the next column. Let me quickly add the records up to June.
So we have the income and expense records up to June. Next we will create the summary of this income and expenses. Before that, let me rename this worksheet to records. Right click, rename, records. Select the cells from B2 to G2. Increase font size. Apply bold format. Thick bottom border. Add a new worksheet and rename it to dashboard. Click on the cell B2. Type in personal finance dashboard. In the cell B4, YTD income, income and expense monthly breakdown, in the cell B8, income, select the cells B8 and C8, merge and center, in the cell B9, type in January, Fill the remaining cells using Excel fill handle. Next we need the total income for the month of January. For that, select the cell against the text January. Equal SUMIFS function. Open parentheses. First input of SUMIFS function is sum range. Select the sheet records. Amounts are on the column called amount. Place the pointer above the column called amount. See the shape of the pointer has changed. Pointer has become a black arrow. To select this column, click on this column header. Comma. Second argument, criteria range 1. Criteria range 1 is the range of cells to evaluate the first condition or the first criteria. Here we are looking for the total income for the month of January. That means there are two criteria. First criteria is January and the second criteria is income. So criteria range 1 will be the cells containing name of months. So for criteria range 1, select the column called month. Comma. Third argument criteria 1. Here criteria 1 is January. Click on the sheet called dashboard. Select the cell containing the text January. Comma. Fourth argument criteria range 2. The range of cells to evaluate the second condition. In this case, second condition or the second criteria is income and this criteria should be evaluated in the cells containing category. So for criteria range 2, click on the sheet called records, select the column called category, comma, fifth argument criteria 2, income is the second criteria. For criteria 2, type in double quotes, income, double quotes, close parenthesis, enter, Total income in the month of January is 93,500. Let's cross check this value. Income from salary, share trading, again share trading, freelancing, share trading, again share trading. See these are the amounts came to me as income in the month of January. And in the status bar, we can see the total of these amounts. 93,500. To find the income in the remaining months, copy this formula into the cells below. Now for the average monthly income, click on the cell B21, type in average, equal average if function, open parentheses, first argument of average if function is range, Select the cells containing amounts, comma, second argument criteria, to ignore the zeros while calculating average, double quotes, greater than zero, double quotes, close parenthesis, enter, and we have the average monthly income. To apply number format to these cells, select the cells containing amounts, right click, format cells, number, use thousand separator, we don't need decimal places. Okay. Next we will calculate the monthly expenses. For that, select this table, right click, copy, 
place the copy table in the column E. Replace income with expense. Click on the cell against the text January. Modify this formula by replacing income with expense. Copy this formula into the cells below. Let's cross set one of these values. Expense for March. Right click, filter, filter by selected cells value. We need the expenses for March. Right click on expense, filter, filter by selected cells value. And these are the expenses in March. Let's select the cells containing amounts. Total is 32,700. To remove the filter, data, filter. Next we need the savings for every month. Select this table. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Savings. Enter. Delete these formulas. To find the saving in the month of January. Equal. Select the cell containing total income in the month of January. Minus. Cell containing total expense in the month of January. Enter. Copy this formula into the cells below. We have the total monthly savings as well as average monthly savings. Next is YTD income. To find the total income starting from the first day of the year to the current date, equal some function, open parentheses. Select the cells containing monthly income. Close parenthesis. Enter. And we have the year to date income. To find YTD expense in the cell A4, YTD expense equal some function. Open parenthesis. Select the cells containing monthly expense. Close parenthesis. Enter. YTD savings. Equal some function open parenthesis select the cells containing monthly savings close parenthesis enter before marking out the item wise breakdown for income and expenses let's format these cells select the cells from b2 to i2 fill color we'll apply green color increase font size apply bold format YTD income, apply dark green, apply white font color, bold format, YTD expense, red color, YTD savings, select the cells from B6 to I6. Apply bold format, increase font size. We'll apply blue background color. Select the cell B8, apply gray color, bold format, increase font size. Select the cells B21 and C21, apply gray color, bold format, increase font size. And apply outside borders. To apply the same formatting to the adjacent tables, select the table, double click on Format Painter, select the tables where we want to apply the same formatting, press Escape key to turn off the Format Painter. Let's adjust the column widths. Select the rows 1, 3, 5, 7 
and reduce the height. Next is item wise breakdown for income and expense. Click on the cell K8. Income and expense item wise breakdown. Two cells below. In the cell K10, copy and paste this header. Here we need the list of income sources. Back to the sheet called records. Copy the list of income sources. And paste it here. Now we will calculate the total income from each of these source. First one is salary. To calculate the total income from salary, equal sum if function, open parentheses. First argument of sum if function is range, and range is the range of cells where the criteria is to be evaluated. In this case, salary is the criteria. Select the sheet called records. The criteria salary should be evaluated in the column containing items. So for the first argument range, Select the column item, comma. Second argument criteria. As mentioned before, salary is the criteria. Back to the sheet called dashboard. Select the cell containing the text salary, comma. Third argument is sum range. Select the sheet called records and select the column containing amounts. Close parentheses, enter, and we have the total salary. For the total amounts from the rest of the income sources, copy this formula into the cells below. Let's apply number formatting. OK. And outside borders. Next is expense. Copy this header. Paste the copied header in the cell N10. For the list of expenses, records, copy the list of expenses and paste it here. Now to find the total amount spent for rent, in the formula bar, equal sum if function, open parentheses, first argument of sum if function is range, go to the sheet called records. Select the column called item, comma, second argument criteria, back to the sheet dashboard, rent is the criteria, comma, third argument sum range, records, select the column containing amounts, close parentheses, enter, the total amount spent for rent. Copy this formula into the cells below. And we have the total amount spent for each of these items. Let's apply number format. Outside borders. For hiding the grid lines, view grid lines. Now we will add data bars to these tables. For that, select the cells containing amounts in the first table. In the home tab, conditional formatting, data bars, under gradient fill, green data bar. Next is expense. Red data bar. Savings. So the design is complete. Now let's check whether these tables are working or not by adding some records.
See, we have added three records for the month of July. Back to dashboard. All five tables in this worksheet have been updated accordingly. Income in July, expense and savings. The income statement used to create this tracker as well as the completed dashboard. Both can be downloaded using the link shared in the video description. See you soon with another Excel tip. Thank you for watching and wish you a great day.